Hey, welcome back. We're going to work our way through installing the EPS carry on my Glock 48. Now, again, if you've seen the other videos, I was thankful that I was able to get my hands on this from Hollow Sun. Um, I ordered it directly from them and talked with them to get my hands on the EPS carry. I'm excited about this one's a red one. It's got the uh, multiple options. You got the two MOA dot, you got the circle, the 32 MOA circle, the 32 MOA and the two MOA dot. So without further ado, let's go and get started. Again, I have not mounted this before. So this video might be a lot of stumbling around to try to figure out together. Uh, that's just kind of how I like to work it. I like to do it. If you guys are along for the ride, so be it. So you'll see me stumble too. Uh, so that came with a uh, little Torx here. Let's see if it's enough. It is enough to break it loose. So this is the Glock 48 with the MLS slide. I am removing uh, the supplied slide cover. I really think that Glock spent probably a little bit more than they needed to when they put a metal uh, MLS side cover here, but maybe not everybody would use it. There you go. That piece may never go back on. We'll see. So we have two nubs in the front, two nubs in the back, and the footprint on the EPS carry, you have four nubs across the front two little nubs in the back. So of course that will not line up. You got a little bit of a gap there. So see what we have. This is a plate that they have offered. Now that plate fits exact. Look at that. It covers the two nubs in the front, two nubs in the back but it covers up the holes. Oh, there we go. Like I said, you're gonna get all my um, confusion and making sure I get it right. So look at that, that fits. So I did purchase this piece here. So I, I purchased from CH Precision, the optics adapter plate for the Glock and the Hollow Sun. I was trying to be prepared, but it looks like Hollison has sent with this one the proper uh, plate. Look at that. That is great news. So let's get that mounted. Now we have to figure out what screws to utilize to mount it says in here that we will need um, we'll need to get a set of screws that will pass through and from my understanding you don't want too long of screws I just assembled this completely you don't want too long of screws to get inside here And have an issue, you don't want to have issues in there. So what do we have for options? Of course we have possibly one of these that looks like of course will be too short. We have these ones will definitely be, I would suspect too long on that side. We have these ones which might be just right or these ones here. So we will try, maybe the middle of the road here. So again, I'm actually pretty ecstatic that Hollow Sun supplied the uh, proper adapter plate. Of course, it'd be nice not to use any adapter plates, right? Just have it directly mounted on the bottom. Um, but that doesn't seem like we get that option. 
So the one on the opposite side of the ejection side supposedly is not as big of a deal. And we are mounting it down. Now, of course, I will torque that to spec. We got some wiggle there, so it might not be the right one to use. Oh, it is about an amount already, and you still got wiggle. So again, I'm not looking into which one you're supposed to use or should not use. I just have three packages here. If one of them's not right, we do have a couple options. Uh, I did get those screws with CH. I could use probably those, worst case scenario. Um, I really think those are going to be way too long. Let's try these ones. So these screws are the ones that got a little bit of a shoulder there. Oh, they don't even reach. They're the wrong size altogether. So it looks like it needs to be this size, but shorter. Worst case scenario is I'll have to edit this and come back with a, uh, um, one where I come back and get the right. I just think this is gonna be too long on this side. Yeah, that is just too much wiggle. Well, let me look at what CH has here for screws. It's looking like we're going to be able to co-witness. Put those on there. Nope. Let's not bump that too much. We'll try these screws from CH here and see what goes on. So we got that one in. And I'll probably uh, link to the description if these work, what screw size they are, and I'll put it in the description below. That way, it hopefully, it helps somebody else. That's always the intention is that we're in this together, right? That is definitely more locked up. Like I said, of course, you're going to want to torque these down. I do have a torque uh, set, I got the big fat wrench. And look at that. No wiggle. Again, I will get that to the proper torque spec. We'll see if everything 
Curls back together nicely. Fingers are all dirty now. There you go. Adds back all on there. I'm just assemble it completely right here on camera as if you guys don't know how to put a Glock together. But again, I'm really excited to be able to get the EPS carry. I think that's uh, could be a game changer. It's a small closed emitter optic. It's still a mailbox on top, but it's more like the small little post office box instead of the... Uh, Come on, baby. What we got going on here? Oh, not seated all the way. That'll do it. It's uh, definitely a smaller emitter than the uh, big old mailbox that you can get, like from Acro P2 from any point. There we go. Oh, there we go. Now we got that on there. Look at that. Need some adjustment, but there it is on the Glock 48, the EPS carry from Holosun mounted on the Glock 48. That is something else. Let's see if it fits in the holster. Where are we at? Look at that, fits in the holster, tier one concealed, good to go. All right guys, well thanks for following me through that video. Again, you wanna make sure you torque those down to proper specifications, I'll look through here and, uh, and torque mine down. Also, I'll put in the description below what screw I ended up using and uh, it came with the CH plate. At least there was something there that needed, uh, needed out of that bag. But again, hey guys, thanks for following me along in this video. Remember to like, comment, and uh, subscribe to these videos. That's the only reason why I make them. And so guys like you and I, gals like you and I can uh, figure this out uh, together. And uh, so I appreciate y'all. Remember to stay connected, stay informed. See you on the next video.